Okay, today we're looking at the Art Night Out resin pendant kit, and this comes set up for a party of four. Um, and inside you'll find silver bezels. These are silver plate, silver over brass, and beautiful papers, and high quality resin. Um, and it's very, very easy to create beautiful, durable jewelry with this kit. So the first thing I want you to do is to pick from the papers and find one that you love and then use one of the viewfinders that we've brought in to the kit and the viewfinder is there to help you design. The viewfinder is the black piece of paper that mimics the shape of your bezels and you're going to use that to create your own unique design. So when you're tracing this with your pencil, you want to have your pencil straight up and down so that you don't angle it in one direction or another. If you're using other paper other than the paper we've provided, it needs to be on laser copy. So if it's photos from your family, um, artwork that you've made yourself, just go to Kinko's or Staples or somewhere and get a laser copy of it. So once you've cut your design out of the paper, you're going to want to coat both the paper and the bezel with studio gloss that came with your kit. What this does is this seals the paper so that the resin won't seep into it when we pour resin on top. So you just take a little dab of the studio gloss and you can tap this on the table. That's the best way to make it come out easy. And you're just going to put one little dab inside your bezel and then take your brush and just coat very thinly in this bezel and you don't want to see a lot of white. What you're looking for is a thin transparent coat. The next step is that you're going to want to coat the paper just the way you did the bottom of the bezel. So you're going to coat the paper with studio gloss. And when you're not using your brush, you want to make sure your brush goes into water because the studio gloss will ruin a brush pretty fast. So if my brush is in water right now. I'm putting a little bit of studio gloss on the paper. And now I'm going to make sure that I've really dried my brush off. I don't want to get water introduced here. So I've dried off my brush and now I'm going to coat the paper itself. So I'm going to coat the top of the paper, the bottom of the paper, and I'm also going to coat the edges of the paper. So these edges right here, all the way around. And what this does is it seals the paper so that the resin cannot penetrate into the paper and create watermarks when you pour it. So you need to coat the bezel two times, thin coats on the inside, and then the paper two times. And after you've done that, you're going to do one more coat inside the bezel. And while it's wet, this is a little too much here. You see how that's milky white? don't want to see that much white in here. So I might actually have to remove some of it. And to remove it, I just pull it right out with the paintbrush and put it somewhere else. So this time, the third coat inside the bezel, I want it to be wet but transparent. And while it's wet but transparent, I want to actually add the dry paper to it. Now this paper that I'm adding to it has been coated two times as well. So it's been coated top and bottom and also on the edges. So once I get that pushed down in there and I can use my finger, I can use the back of the paintbrush
and if the paper smushes up a little bit, it won't matter in the end. You won't see that. Now I do one more wet coat on the top here. Let that dry completely, and then it's ready to pour resin into. Okay, so now that we've coated all our bezels in, with Studio Gloss, um, the paper's coated, the bezels are coated, and everything's dried, we're going to be ready to pour the resin. You want to make sure that everybody's piece is done before you get to this point. And the first step in pouring the resin is cutting off this little tip here with your scissors. And that will allow the resin to pour out when you squeeze the plunger. Be careful as you're doing this because it will drip. So you want to make sure you clean off your scissors right after you do this. So now hold it up in the air and remove the red tab. So the next thing we want to do is plunge this right into the little cup that's provided. So you're just going to push down on your plunger and both of the fluids are going to come out at the same time. One is resin and one is hardener and there's a full ounce here. So this is going to fill up your cup pretty substantially. So now I'm going to start to mix this. And what I'm doing to mix this is sort of like folding egg whites. So I have a little trick when I'm mixing the resin. Once I've completely mixed it and scraped the sides and the bottom of the cup, I go ahead and set this aside for a full 15 minutes. And this is a way that I get rid of bubbles. So I've set the resin aside and I'm going to prepare the bezels to receive the resin. And what I'm going to do is take this little bit of clay that's come in the kit and I'm going to make little cubes out of it and put a little cube under each bezel. And what, what this will do for us is that this will help us articulate them in any direction. So if it's unlevel and it's sort of leaning in one direction or another, we can just push on that until we get it leveled up. Now that the resin is set up for 15 minutes, we're going to go ahead and pour it. And to do that, we're going to take the little popsicle stick that came in your kit and we're going to drip the resin right into the bezels. So now we've filled them all pretty much and we're going to go back in and just dome them just a little bit. And doming just means that we're adding a bit more resin to the top. I usually do this when the resin is set up almost completely in the last 15 minutes. And you can see it's thicker now and it has surface tension. So it's going to create a nice little dome on the top of each one of these. Now everyone has a tendency to want to over dome. It's really not necessary. Flat is fine. But you can dome them a little. You don't want to dome them too much because you might spill. If you do happen to spill some of the resin, it's okay because it can come off the next day. After it cures, you can take it off with a fingernail. So there really are no mistakes with this project. And the last thing you want to do is you want to cover these overnight. So it takes about 12 hours for them to set up and you want to keep them covered that entire time. And then you shouldn't wear them for about three days because that's how long it takes for them to completely cure. So now I'm just going to add a little glass lid over the top of them so they don't get any dust or pet hair on them. And there you have it. That's what it takes to make a beautiful resin bezel pendant.